Hello, this is Jim with DC Digital, and today I'm demonstrating a DC 406 T up term, and it is set up with uh, a photo switch uh, Allen Bradley array um, that senses objects in an array, a uh, two dimensional array. And uh, we had the customer send it to us so that we could set it up to make sure that everything was working properly. And um, it is outputting a PNP uh, to our, our uh, timer. And I uh, just wanted to demonstrate that to you. This, is, uh, a, this one here is an Allen Bradley 45 ASE. And I'm going to read you specs from AST. I'm not sure if it's any different, but I um, just want to make that clear. So uh, it's compact, easy to use, safety, non-safety, uh, light screen for small part detection and assembly applications. This transmitted beam array is ideal for use in variety of applications for counting to process initiation. Two-dimensional array scanning technology, which allows the user to sense an object as it passes through the pair of arrays, regardless of orientation provided the one axial dimension meets the minimum resolution. And they have two dimensional area scanning technology. Minimum resolution is 0.43 to 0.66 inches high, I'm supposing. Sensing ranges up to 2.5 millimeters wide. So you can go up to eight feet between these two and uh, it will scan uh, approximately a half inch is what I'm looking at. So that's about my, my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that and uh, passing through this. And then what we have it for us so is that it maintains on a, a while it's seeing the PNP input. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pass my hand through there. So if the object or the, the uh, assembly line stops, it's going to accumulate how long that part has been sitting in this array. And I'm going to go ahead and remove it and see how it, uh, different air spots on the array where it will detect it. And it will detect all the way up or down into this area. And it gets wider as you expand this out further. And they're claiming that this is maximum of 150 millimeters wide um, and it does have a 100 millimeter zone in this area here so as you can see the the lights turn off or it gives you indication that there's an object there so it has an alignment type set up where um, it's pretty wide and uh, where it now you see that it's um, out of alignment but um, Anyways, and then the, uh, the timer itself accumulates, so the, uh, each time it passes through or, or senses a trigger, it's going to start count that amount of time. And we have it set up for um, minutes and seconds with tenths and hundredths, and I'm not sure if the guys went ahead and set it up for shift digit, um, but usually our six digits don't. It has a reset, a remote reset button, 40 millimeter reset button, stainless steel cover um, with a waterproof or weatherproof box and a cable gland. And uh, we always uh, provide 25 feet of cable. And then the terminations in the back are pretty simple and then we have instructions also. But there's three terminals for your connections, your PNP connections, or your contact closure. And then we also have another connection for 24 volt input, if you like. We provided uh, sensor power since we knew that they were uh, connecting to a sensor and they wanted that all in one package. So um, sensor power plus or minus uh, 12 to 24 volts. Um, um, 24 volts DC. And. Um, it's just, uh, you know, red, black, and then we have uh, another wire for the um, sensor um, trigger. So just, uh, this is kind of a custom thing, but not really. This is pretty uh, standard for us, this term, uh, this 406 term, four inch high digits. You can view it up to uh, 200 feet away, all uh, aluminum enclosed, extruded aluminum enclosed. 
um, electronics. And then we have these uh, tabs on the back that are adjustable that you can mount it to, um, you know, screws in the back, uh, uh, screws on the wall. So again, this is Jim with DC Digital and just demonstrating this uh, switch array uh, sensor and how it operates and maybe uh, there's others of you out there that have something that is that thin that you're trying to sense. They're using it for uh, a trim, uh, so baseboard trim, that kind of thing. So the trim's laying down uh, and then passing through, and then they're having troubles with it stopping and not knowing how long the, the assembly line's been stopped So at that point. So again, this is Jim with DC Digital demonstrating this uh, photo uh, switch array and DC-406 T-up term. Thank you.